Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. I wanted to give some final thoughts about Rosetta and the Flay Mount Lander. Flay Mount Lander, because it flamed out. Of course, I went over to Phil Plate to get his two cents, and he's talking about Shirt Storm. He's declaring the Rosetta Flay Mount Lander a total success after landing for two days. And so, what was the meeting like at the ESA when they were like, all right, just in case the mission doesn't go exactly as we planned it to, and the lander lands in the shade, considering like 33% of the entire place is covered in shade, how many days battery power do you think we should equip it with? You know, just so we can at least tell the public we landed, and it's a total victory. And the other guy was like, one day, maybe battery power one day, two days to be safe, you know? The guy's like, by Jove, you've got it. We'll give the lander two days of battery power, and then it will die if it lands in the shade. Granted, the Voyager has left our solar system and still going on power after 40 years. Old school NASA, which is still going strong. The Voyager satellites, after 35 years, are still keeping on keeping on. Was that NASA's golden age? Who might ask? Man, but America used to know how to make stuff that doesn't break. Alas, WTF happened to those days. I don't know, does, has Europe ever heard of Murphy's Law? Do they have Murphy's Law? What can go wrong, will go wrong. And so, you guys only prepared for the best case scenario? If it lands perfectly, exactly where we wanted to, everything will be great. I mean, two days, you gave that thing, billions of dollars spent on it, 10 years to get there, and you only gave it enough battery power for two days. Does anybody wonder why I've been calling it Comet $3 bill for weeks? Whatever, man, I say go ahead and give every space program on the planet the Nobel Peace Prize. Everything is just so foobar. So to me, the whole scenario, Filet, Rosetta, it's a joke, man. It's all a freaking joke that is not funny and costs way too much. Whereas back in the day, space programs knew they were there to inspire us, to inspire the kids, the teenagers, and even adults. I'd have to guess now, space agencies work for the same people the Federal Reserve do. Now what the Rosetta mission did in their two days was it proved to everybody that Science is correct. Comets are nothing more than dirty snowballs. So that's what the two days proved, is that science is totally correct. They're just dirty snowballs. And I want to thank all the people who always took all the star photos out of the Rosetta Flay pictures. Because one way debunkers call out fakes is they're like, it's got to be a fake. There's no stars in it. But the reverse is true for professionals. If it doesn't have stars in it, it's got to be real. You know, they didn't want you to get confused. So they took the stars out of it for you. They photoshopped it. <laughs> oh, man. It's a good old Phil Plate. It was big news. Historic, even. Man.